Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda, Fachik777, and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for Lavish Laces. Woo woo! I am totally excited. This is my first design team project. Been a little bit of time in coming, but you know, Jayzella just worked so sweetly with me, so Jayzella, hope you like it. First thing I'm going to do is move my sign out of the way, and I'm going to show you the laces I use. Besides laces from Jayzella's shop, she also carries an awesome assortment of Wild Worker Craft flowers, which I love. And it's nice because, you know, she is here in the States, and so I don't have to wait such a long time to get my flowers. Um, plus other product, of course, that I order from her store. Um, and then what she sends me in my design team package. But anyway, enough of that long story. I'm going to move my sign out of the way so I can show you what laces I used. Because, you know, they kind of get covered up and hidden. Although I'll be sure to, you know, try and point them out to you. But anyway, let's move this out of the way. And first thing I'm going to show you, a couple of things, are the rosette trims I use. And um, I was lucky to receive this in my design team package. It's a beautiful kind of baby pink color black polka dots super sweet and then the next one who doesn't love a little pink I love a little pink so got to use a little pink rosettes so beautiful and then the laces I used quite a few little thin laces this time but it was perfect for my project so use this cute cute little flower trim my project just an FYI I found this cute like carousel type candle thing at a thrift store and I decided you know I'm going to alter that because I can kind of turn it into an embellishment holder so that's what I did I'm kind of excited about the way it turned out so these little laces were perfect for it here comes another one which is this cute little heart trim I know isn't that so cute okay and then this is another one I use this cute little floral trim really sweet and then this other one I use as you can tell by the colors I'm showing you lots of pinks and whites and creams a little bit of browns mixed in a little bit of light green so totally shabby chic project this is the other lace I used really pretty you can see how dimensional it is and it almost looks like it's got like these are little hearts too like little upside down hearts cute I know my lighting's not as good back here because I've got it all pointed toward the back because my project's gonna have to go in the back there now these next two laces I'm gonna show you shh quiet don't tell Jayzella I stole them out of my next design team kit <laughs> I wasn't quite done with this one and I'd receive my next one in the mail and I'm like oh those would look so good so, bummer, going to have to use them twice, but shh, don't, don't tell Jayzella, I swear, don't tell her. <laughs> anyway, here's one. So, you'll be sure to see this on my next project. I'm sure you'll see it, because it's too cute. How can I not use it, unless I just totally use some of the other ones she sent me, which is a possibility. And then there's this one, shh, don't tell Jayzella, don't want her to get mad at me. <laughs> All right, and this one, really cute. I love that it's kind of sheer at the top, and then you've just got this beautiful kind of embroidered uh, floral at the bottom. Okay, so those are the laces I used. Now I'm going to bring my project into view. Now remember, this it was a candle stand, okay? It had three glass jars in it. It was like a carousel-type look to me. All right, so and what I wanted to do was kind of make it all one scene like a garden type scene and something that you're going to see on this you've seen me do before but this project was just screaming out to do it again so you know um, I did and I'll probably do it again on another project because I just love it okay so here comes my project get it cleared at the back so you can see it okay all right so see how it's kind of got like here's candles candle holders came with the three jars with it okay all right I'm gonna get up a little closer so I can turn this around a little bit get it just right see and so there's the other jar so you can see how it looks kind of like a carousel turn it into an embellishment holder and then what I did is in between each jars on top I'll get up closer and show you I wanted to do a different kind of scene in between each jar up on top but still be one theme and then 
along the whole bottom there's kind of a different theme in between each jar as well but still a united theme okay turn it around this way there we go I know I love it okay so I'm going to bring my camera up so I can zoom in a little bit and so you can get a nice closer look at it now I was able to use a lot of fun new Prima products that came out this time um, like the um, um, Ingville Bohm, her Junkyard Findings, the water pipe parts, and the heart gears. That was super fun to use some of those new products. Found them at our local scrapbook store. All right, here we come in. I'm going to zoom into the top. See there, so you can get a little bit better look. Okay, so I'm going to turn it again for you. So there's one theme in between the two candle jars, but now my embellishment holder. And then here's another little theme. Okay, let me tilt down just a bit to get a nice good look. There we go. Okay, don't worry, we'll come in even closer. And another little theme here. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a little bit closer. And, and actually what you can see, I'm going to point this out real quick. You can see all the texture going on. This thing was wooden. Okay, and what I did is my usual acrylic paint mixed with sand to get all the texture on it. And it's just kind of like a vintage white color. Okay, and then I took that same mixture, just so you know, you might be new to my channel. Um, I like to take that acrylic paint mixed with sand and I like to dab it on top of all like my embellishments and stuff to kind of bring the texture out. Okay, and actually let's first go to the jars. I'm going to pull each of the jars out because then I can get them out of the way. I keep calling them jars, they're little, um, you know, glass votive holders. So here's where the cute little, here's the holder, okay, glass candle holder. Cute little heart trim comes right intact, perfect. And then I've got a little sheer bow here, a little um, pink and white Wild Orca Craft flower, and then a little bead landing charm from my stash. And it just says the number 15 just because I like odd numbers, okay? So that's just, you know, a little thing to that. All right, so there's one. I'm going to bring out the next little candle holder. Okay, so there's that. And funny story, I got this home and I'm like, what is looking different about this? Something's not quite fitting right with this these candle holders. And I realized, and you probably didn't even notice, two of the jars are this and one in the jar is this. I mean, it's a total different style, even shorter than the original two. I think probably someone broke one and then they just stuck another little glass, you know, candle holder in there or something like that. But I think it's kind of fun. It gives it a little eclectic feel, so I don't mind at all that, <laughs> you know, they're not the same three exact jars, you know, because the lace and stuff makes it cute, right? Didn't even notice, did ya? So anyway, cute um, laces, and yes, you can see some of the paint. I did that, rubbed it across some of my lace, just bringing out the texture. Again, a little sheer bow, and the sheer ribbon's just for my stash. Little Wild Orchid Craft flower, and then this cute little mirror charm. Okay, and then let me bring out the last little jar here. Okay, this has got the cute little flower trim on there. Again, a sheer bow. Wild like a craft flower and another little gold bow charm. Okay, so there's my cute little jars. All right, so now let's get up to the nitty gritty of this design. Okay, now you can see it kind of a little bit better. But anyway, and, and I'll pop it this way just so you can kind of see how the holders go, see how the holders fit in there like that. So see, it kind of looks like a little carousel, doesn't it? Okay, so let's bring it on in. I'm going to point me down a little bit more. Tighten up and bring in a little bit closer. Okay, so this side, the little theme I've, in between the two jars, I wanted to do a bunch of little Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I'll even bring it up and hold it. Bunch of little Wild Orchid Craft flowers going on in there. I layer the flowers like crazy. And a lot of times the way I get such a flowered, layered look a layered flower look I guess the way you want to say it is when I go to lay a flower down and I've got hot glue on the back and I lay it down and if I can see the hot glue on the back of the flower or spilling out anywhere drives me nuts 
so I will take more flowers to cover up that hot glue. So a lot of times I get a really layered flower look because I'm just trying to cover hot glue. I know it's crazy, but hey, it makes it pretty, right? So anyway, bunch of Wild Worker Craft Flowers from Jay Zella's shop. I really love to use like the one inch size, the cream, and then she's got like a three quarter inch size. I tend to use those a lot, okay? And then I've got a little um, Recollections uh, green butterfly on there. Okay, and then a couple of um, wild rosebuds, pink little wild rosebuds. Now underneath, here you can see some of that cute little um, pink flower trim from Jay Zella's shop. That one was like a scallop pink, really sheer scallop pink trim. I layered it down there like it was almost a little doily coming out, okay? All right, so let's just bring, oh, and also on here you can really see, even besides texture, you can see little dots and stuff coming on. I used a, um, a stencil, the little dots all over it, and also this one you can't tell. It looks just like a smudge of something, but it's actually a word. I got a couple of new little word stencils up at my uh, store, some new little like $1.79 little stencils that came out. Um, yeah, this is a word. I think it says Oh, yeah, you can see it, can't you? <laughs> it's a word. I think it says, like, favorite or something like that. But anyway, that's I added that all around, too, a lot of the little dots and stuff. And I did that with um, modeling paste and added some pink uh, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays to it. And I also sprayed pink Lindy Stamp Gang spray all over this to kind of give it a little bit of a pink tone to it. And then I think the other color I used was just, um, no, it wasn't creme brulee cream. Okay, I got to look really quick. Oh, the other one I used was the Lindy Stamp Gang. Here I am, the Clam Bake Beige. And then, which I often use a lot, is this Mr. Huey's. And it's just called Shine. It's just a clear shimmer. Okay? Anyway, so back to this. All right, so let's turn it around to the next little scene. So you can see flowers and everything poking out everywhere. So this is the next little scene. Bringing it up in between the two candle holders. Okay, so what I've got here, this is that beautiful, cute little um, flower lace from Jay Zella's shop. And what I did is tied a little bow and added a little Wild Worker Craft Flower in the center. And then I just kind of, as you can see, I just kind of pleated it down and hot glued it to the stand. Same thing over here, just kind of pleated it down and around and hot glued it to the stand. This side's a little bit longer because that's the way I wanted to do it. I wanted to be able to pleat it a little bit more. Okay, and then right in here I've got a little Prima resin window. And on top of that I got one of those cute little Prima wooden birds. Okay, and you can see all my texture all over that and the, the, all over the window and the bird and everything. And then I've got these teeny coming out of the little window panes. I've got these teeny, teeny, tiny little pink rosebuds. I've had these in my stash forever. I can't remember even where I got them. They are super tiny as you can tell. And then I've got a little recollections flower down at the bottom. And then in front of the window I wanted to create kind of another little scene. So what I did is I pleated that little sheer um, trim from Jazella's shop and just kind of made again like a little doily effect. And then I cut one of those pink um, rosette with the black polka dot as you can see rosette flowers in half and kind of laid it on top of the doily let me turn it this way so you can see it okay and then I've just got a little um, Tim Holtz bottle and I've just put some pearls inside of it okay this is one of those new um, heart gears from Ingville Bohm and all the gears they're metal they're white one of the packages she's got a couple of pack different um, actually the other package I that's not white I don't think it's gears but they look like gears to me but anyway the white gears um, and they all somewhere in it got hearts in them so it's really cute and then these are I can't even remember I got these you know what I think Bridget sent these to me these little white resin roses hey B and then I got these cute little teeny tiny pink resin roses. I think I got them. They came in this package of a bunch of different stuff that I got at a thrift store. I think they were just like kind of in the bag. Okay, so there's that. So there's that little scene. Bringing it down again so you can take a peek. And sorry you guys, I know this is kind of hard to hold and um, get a good view at, but it always is on camera, right? 
Okay, so let's bring it around and let's go around to the next little scene. And you can see all behind the window because I didn't want any of my back window to show. Don't like anything. And when I was doing this, I had to make sure, I just want to turn back around a second. When I would do something, like I had to make sure, like when I would play something like the butterfly over here, I would have to constantly turn the project because, yeah, the butterfly looks really cute here, but if I glue it, what is it going to look like from this angle? So I constantly was flipping and turning this thing. If I glue this over here, what is it going to look like over here? Because it still had to look like a cohesive unit, even though I was trying to make a little bit of a different scene out of each little corner. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's move around to this other side. Glue string. Okay. So here's all a bunch of little Wild Liquor Craft flowers from Gisela's shop covering the back of my window up and all the hot glue in there. Okay, and so then we come down. I'm going to set it down so you can get a good look again. I'm not so wobbly for you guys, sorry. Um, this is, of course, a resin um, angel by Prima playing the little violin there. Really cute, just playing some music. I imagine this, did I say it once already? It's kind of like a little garden scene and, you know, the angel's playing his music in the background. You know, lots of flowers and stuff going on. It's just a wonderful, relaxing day. And, you know, you're just hearing angelic music all around about you in your lovely garden, right? Okay, there's your story for today. Okay, so down here again at the bottom, you can see all my texture going on from my stencil. I placed another of that, cut up a piece of that um, pink lace there to make it look like a doily. Bunch more flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. This one's actually from P Prima. It was gifted to me a bunch of flowers from um, my friend Van. I call Ban Ban. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, anyway, she gifted me a bunch of Prima flowers. This is a, a rosebud, big wild rose from Prima. Anyway, another of those heart gears. See, it's in a heart shape. Cute! I just love these white heart gears. I bought in like three packages of them. Anyway, coming around, more flowers. Some of here are some flowers um, just from my stash. They're just little um, fabric flowers I um, tore off of a vine. I found at a garage sale. But anyway, a bunch more flowers coming around. This Another fun, cute junkyard finding by Ingvild Volm, and this is the water pipe parts. Love it! She's got a couple of different packages that has these little faucets and stuff in it. This one comes with um, water pipes and the faucet. Super cute. And what I wanted it to do was like the angels playing his music, and I set it amidst the flowers like, you know, it was raining music down upon the flowers. I know it's a little sappy, but hey, you know, I got to have a story to my project, right? Keeps you guys interested. But anyway, just love these. You'll probably see, I'm sure, a ton of these Ingville Bohm junkyard findings on all my upcoming projects. I am completely and madly, insanely in love with them. And they make all these wonderful design team laces pop even that much more. Okay, anyway, let's head down to the bottom, right? So we've got the top of the carousel, my embellishment carousel going on. Let's head down to the bottom. So we started at the butterfly, right? So let me bring my camera down. Let's go directly below to the scene down below the butterfly. Let me get my light adjusted. I'm going to come back out just a touch because it's a little bit bigger at the bottom. Let me get my light adjusted to the front. Is that any better? I think so. So you can see all the stuff going on down there. Let me bring... Is that better or more washed out? Get a little bit of shadow in there so it's not so washed out. Okay, so down below, butterfly, little scene going on. Right back here is a uh, resin clock piece. I believe it's by... Is it by Melissa Francis? I have to look really quick, you guys. One moment, please. Yes, it's Melissa Francis Embellishments. Okay, here it comes in the view. Melissa Francis Embellishments. Little cute clock. You guys know I am about clocks, so I'm going to add some kind of clocks to my, my projects here. Because, you know, it's just kind of a garden and you're spending time in the garden, right? Okay, um, so let me bring it in closer. So I've got that on the back. And then I've got a little Prima clock hand pointing upward. And this is also another... Junkyard finding it's um, the little the new releases and it's little uh, flathead screws and um, the little Phil Phillips screw heads and everything and it's really cool because it is flat so you can you get there you can see the side it's all nice and it's like the tops of the screw heads the tops of bolts stuff like that so really awesome 
okay and then you can see a bunch of flowers and stuff nestled in here from wild orchid crafts love these big daisy flowers from jazella's shop like i said almost all these flowers are from her shop but she included my design team kit these um, big beautiful daisies and it had a little orange center so i just took it out and i popped in a half back pearl in there and then you know of course as i told you i textured everything up so it's got a lot of texture and everything but makes it look a little bit more you know shabby chic Here's another one of those white heart gears. I know! I love them. Um, nestled in and among the flowers, I've got a little a clear acrylic bird got from Michael's on clearance. Those little acrylic birds and butterflies they had out. Um, this is just a white spring, as you can see. Everywhere on my projects, I like to try to add a little X and O. So there's the little XO. It's just a little signature thing. i got to have something, right? So if you guys look at a project, oh! That's Linda's. It's got an X and an O on it. <laughs> I know. I'm being silly. Anyway, coming around and about. A lot more flowers and stuff going on in there. I have a little light bulb coming out here. Clear down in the back there. You can see it's all nice and pink. That's one of those pink rosettes from Jazella's shop. Again, another one of the daisies. Most of the little, um, like, let me bring this down a little bit. Like the little pink and white flowers and the plain white flowers, the daisies, all from Jazella's shop. Okay, so bringing that around, so there's just a bunch of layering of flowers and stuff in there. And we're going to come around this side, kind of underneath the window. Let me hold it back here so you can kind of get a little peeky at it. Okay, that's right underneath our little window on top. Let me move it up so you can see directly below. See, there's a little window, kind of down in the corner a little bit. Okay. First thing I did, this is a little, uh, is this the Prima? I think this is the Recollections, the Recollections lamppost, because I think they're a little bit smaller than the Prima ones. So this is the little Recollections lamppost, tied a little sheer bow on it, Wild Looker Craft Flower from Jazella's shop, and added a little bead landing key. Okay, and this was easy. I just kind of glued it down at the bottom here, and it was just tall enough that I was able to kind of just, let me see if I can... Get this under the camera sheet. There you go. I could just fit it right up under the lip of one side so it held them really tight. Of course, I glued it. And then I was able to just kind of glue the other pieces on the outside there. So it stays in really nicely. A lot of texture going on there. Okay, let me see if I can kind of tuck my bow up this way or something so it'll kind of be out of our way. There we go. So kind of be out of our way of our products. So again, and I wanted to bring it again the little... Um, Recollections Green Butterfly into view. Bunch more flowers going on. Another little White Heart gear from Prima. Let me bring this up this way. Again, you can see daisies from Jazella Shop going on. All the I keep saying just the daisies, but I've said it ten times. All these flowers from Jazella Shop. A nice, colorful assortment in there. This great big, super pleated, like round looking one in the back is a Prima flower. No, wait, sorry, Recollections flower. I think that's one. Is that one that Char sent me? She sent me a few um, packages that were on clearance. It might have been one she sent me. I'm not sure, but that's a Recollections flower. Got a little white spring kind of poking up in the middle there amidst some more flowers. This is one of the new. Um, wood pieces coming out by Prima. It's um, in with all their um, clocks and stuff. They got a couple different clock packages, I think. Maybe just one and then one has some clocks in it. Anyway, and so this is an hourglass. Love it. You can kind of see the sand dripping down there. There's one that I absolutely want to get. I want to get the packages full of all the clocks. Our local scrapbook store, they open all the packages and then threw them in this big jar so you have to dig through them. But I'd like to get just entire packages of the clocks and the hourglass. And then there's one that has like the word love in it. Um, their words. I want to get those new ones by Prima. Anyway, thought you might want to know that little tidbit. You were super excited to hear about it, weren't you? Okay, and we're going to come around about. Now, here's a scene you may have seen before. Like I said earlier, I wanted to recreate it again. If you will remember a clock that I did for Annie in a swap, I added a little swing to it. Had a little fence down at the bottom. Of course, that fence, I laid a little penny farthing bike across it. But this one I didn't. I can't be exactly the same, right? But I totally, when I saw this, I'm like, that's got to have a swing hanging. So, you know, fabricated another swing. I'll show you exactly what I did there. I'll probably do it again, like I said, on another project. But anyway, I'm going to tip this just a bit so you can see 
I bet you there's probably about 25, 30 flowers. Let me lift the little swing up going on in there. Can you see all the layers of flowers, even a little spring over here? Tons of layers. I've got a little light bulb tucked in here. Again, another one of those white gears by Prima. This is a little resin Prima um, birdhouse. Okay, over here's a little resin bird from Prima. This is a teeny tiny, I bet it's about an inch maybe, shabby chic fence, white fence. I think I got it from Joann's. And what I did, let me bring it in so you can see it a little bit. It didn't do it really well, but it did do it as I used the Tim Holtz um, white crackle, white, wait, white picket fence crackle paint. I know, say that 10 times fast. The Tim Holtz white picket fence crackle paint, I used it on my picket fence. I know! Hilarious. Okay. Anyway, I did that and then added some texture to it. But there you can kind of see a little bit of the crackling going on. So underneath my little bird, you guys are like, what kind of video am I watching? <laughs> it's okay. I'm all here. Um, underneath my little resin bird, again, another um, sheer bow from my stash because, you know, I wanted to kind of carry that theme all the way around. A little Wild Orchid Craft flower and then a little lock because, you know, you got to have the lock on the gate, right? <laughs> and then this is just a wooden word, Dream Big, from my stash. Got it from another um, store. Okay. Inside, you can kind of see, like, here's another um, of those daisy flowers, and I kind of shimmered it a pink color, and it kind of shimmered because the little halfback pearls were um, a white color, and it kind of colored it a cream color, too. So that made a nice little color change in there. Underneath the birdhouse is one of those pink rosette trims from Jazella's store. Tons of flowers going on, like I said. I wanted to kind of carry the flowers up and over the fence, like it was kind of just growing through the fence. Added another little um, Recollections butterfly, just so it kind of tied in the theme of that. Coming around here, don't worry, we'll get back to this uh, swing. Here you can see another one of those, really well, another one of those um, Recollections flowers. Here's the spring I showed you earlier. Underneath here, because I used one on top, I wanted to bring it down in here again, give it a nice cohesive unit, one of those um, polka dotted rosette trims. Again, last one, another um, Recollections butterfly. Okay. And then just all around in here, bunches of flowers, flowers coming on around in here. And then we kind of come back around to the other side. And you can see all the flowers tucked in under the butterfly back in here and stuff like that. Okay, now let's go to the swing. Bring it back around. Let's bring my swing down out of the air here. Swinging along. Now let me turn it this way. What I did is use some really tiny um, eye hooks and, you know, of course, screwed it into the top. This is dressed string, okay? And all I did is I kind of knotted it, doubled it, you know, it's doubled and knotted to the top. Now, to make the swing, I just used these little flat sticks that I got. You can get them from, like, Joann's, a big package of them. Almost like popsicle sticks, but they're not. And I just broke it in half and made a little double, you know, glued two pieces together, like a little slat board, like a homemade swing. Tied the string around it, knotted it up on the top of the bench, and then brought both, because it was, a you know, one string and knotted it, brought both pieces up and tied it to the eye hook. Hope that wasn't confusing. And then, you know, I want to add something on my swing, so a ton of flowers. Bring it around so you can see this way. Okay, and the reason there's a ton of flowers on here, because again, if I glue flowers to this side, i got to hide my glue on this side. So a bunch of flowers going up the back. But, you know, hey, it looks pretty, right? And then this comes in the package of the hourglasses. It's one of the clocks, the wooden clocks by Prima. I love it because it's the little clock with the little bell alarms on top and then again I brought in those teeny teeny tiny pink rosebuds in the clock and then I have one right down here and then it just kind of sits on the swing isn't that cute so it's like time just swinging along I know anyway so there is my project my little embellishment carousel I'm gonna call it I'm going to kind of bring this up this way and back out again. Oops, wrong way, as usual. And we'll go ahead and put my little glass jars back in. 
it's going to look really cute with embellishments stored in there and cute enough to, you know, keep on a desk or something. You know, and I keep saying, you know, my carousel, but truly, you guys know me. You know I like to give things away. So, I'm not saying, but yeah, this is going to somebody. Not saying who. You'll be excited when you get it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like what I shared with you today. Of course, my blog will be down below, my blog link, so you can go and see closer at pictures. And, you know, if I was a little bit too wobbly and shaky here trying to hold this little carousel for you. And then below the pictures, I'll have uh, direct product links to each of the things I use from Jazella's shop, except the flowers. Um, what I may do is just... I may. I'm not sure, because my blog's not up yet, but by the time you see this, it will be up. There may be a link to just the flowers itself but if not if I don't do that if you click to the right on my sidebar and click on lavish lacious picture it'll take you to the home page and then of course at the left is her you know table of contents and you'll see where it says you know wild orchid craft flowers anyway so blog pictures direct links to the products I used possibly direct link to the flowers not sure and now I'm rambling <laughs> Jazella hope you like this I can't wait to do another one for this awesome design team. Everybody, thanks for sharing your time with me and listening to my wild, crazy antics and stories. <laughs> Love you all. Mwah! And I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.